what we're going to look at today is a Savage Arms Snail Trap. Uh, these are made for uh, test firing guns. Uh, they originally came in this uh, baby blue color, which um, you can see right here on the original cap. They're kind of a baby blue, and they had this uh, a yellow uh, cap that went over where you discharged the gun into. Uh, they've now replaced them with a, a black one that's much better made. Uh, this is one of the original traps. Uh, in fact, uh, it's serial number uh, 1213, which gives you an idea how old it is. Uh, yeah, this is a model GF. Uh, the GF will take up to, well, they said anything short of a 50 uh, caliber Browning. They said a 338 Lapua, not a problem. Uh, basically has a snail trap in it. As you take a look, barely up here, you can see where the trap comes in and it hits a s circular spinning sheet of steel inside and spins until it runs out of power, at which time it uh, harmlessly falls into the bottom of the trap. Um, I didn't particularly like the blue color, so I changed it back to a brown and uh, just duplicated the uh, the images. Yeah, we're just going to shoot a little gun into it today. It's a little 32 uh, Browning, or a Beretta Tomcat. Uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, it should just go in there and spin around and disappear. And as you can see, it exits a little bit of smoke out the top, has a vent on the top side here, and another vent on the side which lets the blast come out. Uh, interesting trap. I can still see the smoke coming out of the darn thing. Um, spayed by Savage Systems. They're still making them.